I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Hello guys, and welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. I went all the way back here again. Uh, hopefully it should lag less this time. I did some CPU call tweaking, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, forced this game to only use the uh, the P calls instead of E calls I'm using an Intel CPU. If that means nothing to you, then just ignore it. Uh, I I hope it'll help, I and mean, I already have less stutters because of it, so probably helps out somehow. Uh, just don't ask me how. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, <laughs> but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not Christmas. Much cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Uh, okay. So how far oh, are we going? Over here. I often spot lace-winged flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. I mean that? Okay, let's try it out. Mine. Lace wing flies, okay. Uh, I guess I'll try to use more of them. Use them in potions, huh? Wonder what kind of, oh, okay. Wonder what kind of potions we get to make. If we make the healing potion I barely have like any of right now. Because <laughs> I could end up being very useful. From the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. Oh yeah, would you look at that? Something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Poppy, huh? That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, uh, oh, that, that's Hogwarts, huh? Pass that ruin. All right, past the ruin, got it. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. Well, goddamn. She knows more about me than I had thought. I was no one commenting on the say, fact that they're riding without well, anything. I oh. learn a great oh. deal in class. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Mine. How are you? How lovely! How lovely! I remember the weeks that followed my arrival, feeling quite strange. Everything was so. New and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you oh, too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, hopefully. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. What's wrong with him? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Wh why? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys. Ugly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Th thank, thank, thank you. Oh, Mr. Moon, a Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have. Oh, can I accurate that? 
Oh, I can. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I would love to, but I don't know if there's a companion system. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Okay, that's good. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Uh, okay, Enjoy sure. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Also, ever since I did that tweak, everything seems to be running way better. Even in Hogsmeade, uh, where I've heard that it runs like a mother truck. <laughs> Ollivander, let's go get the ward first. I'm getting small frame starters, but nothing compared to what I had before. Ooh. Uh, Olivant, I'm here. I'm here to get a wand. What the? Right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Yeah, you don't. You don't look like your great grandson. Uh, Hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, I. About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest one makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, yes, no, please do. No, no, not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. Uh, okay, let's uh, swish and... That kind of looks cool, though. Well, go ahead. Swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more. Come on. Really swish it. I don't think it likes me. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. I don't like this one. It looks weird. Looks like it's back to the oh, goodness. For you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh, I get to make it now, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so I don't like the color at all. Purchase. Per uh, let's go to one style. How intriguing. Uh, let's see, which one do I like the most? Curious indeed. I actually sort of like this one, and I and I like the the typical 
Brown look here. Wood type. Ebony. Let's go with let's go with Elder. Elder wood. 14 and a quarter. Let's make that smaller. 13 and a quarter. Sure, why not? Uh, flexibility, solid, hard, brittle. Unyielding, slightly yielding. Unbending, slightly yielding, rigid, stiff. What? Does this matter? Can I break it? Uh, slightly yielding? Unbending. Let's go with slightly yielding. Why not? Uh, call type. Dragon Heartstring. Dragon Heartstring that serves the call of the wand known for producing powerful magic. Hair of Unicorn serves the call of the wand known for producing consistent magic. The Feather of a Phoenix that serves as the call of the wand capable of producing a great range of magic. Consistent, powerful, or great range. I like powerful. A dragon I'm all about power. Wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Yes, power. Okay, okay. So before I do anything here. How intriguing. Stop saying that. It's not intriguing. It's it's just a wand. It's my wand. The thing is, uh, I don't I don't dislike any of these Good options indeed. per se. Uh it's just that there's no they don't really look that unique. Like this one looks sort of unique, but I don't like it. This one looks very basic. How intriguing. Guess I'll go with this one. Curious indeed. Oh, this one would also be cool. Wait, let me look at this. Oh, it seems too small, actually. How intriguing. I'm thinking way too much about this. I mean, this one is actually the only one that kind of speaks to me. It, it, it's the only one that kind of says I look like some kind of unique wand. Uh, this one I was thinking about, but I don't know. I don't. I don't really like it when it look like very closely at it. But I also gotta think about it. So, so if I was a guy in this game, maybe I'll go with this one. <laughs> I don't, I'm trying to make excuses. I don't know. Um, you know, let's go with this one, just because I might go with this one as in my own personal let's play if I ever do that, like my own playthrough of the game. Curious let's just go with this one. Uh, because I feel like my character Noel would like this kind of wand instead, because of the spiraling. Whereas I feel like if I, I personally think I would like this one, but to roleplay it a little bit, let's pick this one and let's make it brown. How intriguing! Because uh, I think I think that's kind of her thing. There we go. What do you think? <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. It felt good. Different. I feel this power. A sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, tomes and scrolls. Let's see. Uh, there was a faster way to open the map, but I completely forgot about it. Uh, can, can I just go to wherever? Does it, can I just show one? Yeah, not really. Uh, let's see. Where would I want to go? Right now I'm here as a student, so I'll use the... The thing. Level three. Revelio. Revelio.
Another one over there. What is this? Oh, there's money. Okay. Potion shop. Is there a place I have to go to? Yeah, this might be a place I have to go. Oh. Okay, let's ignore that for now. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Free samples. I'll take it all. Nom 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 nom. What? Revelio. What did I just do? Fizzing wispies. These delicious sweets rumored to contain billywigs sting a, a small shepherd balls that can consume with levitate one a few inches of the ground. Huh. How fun. Oh, wait, why are you so tiny? You look like an older woman. Oh, well. Ooh, more, 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 more stuff for me. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> what about you? Can I eat this too? Nope. I'll We're take it. Here. I'm stealing now, by the way. Exploding bonbons. These treats explode when eaten, although they are unlikely to cause serious injury. One is advised to chew carefully. Oh. What did what did I do now? Oh, I'm chewing fire. Okay. Out of my right ear, apparently. What did I just do? Oh, wow. That's cool. Why do you look like like old ladies, but you're so tiny? You look like you're shrinked. Or that you have shrunken down. More cake. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> I'm eating all this stuff. This is not where I was supposed to go. Uh, where where? Okay, fine. I'll mark it on the map then. Uh, I'm pretty sure the sorting the sorting goods shop. This has a variety of brooms. I don't know if that's what I've got to do. Uh, I need to go here anyway. What is this? Can't pet you right now, cat. Yeah, Protego. Very good stuff. Oh, I can just... <laughs> Let me drink some tea. Tea is good for you. Ooh, nice. Can I have that outfit? It kind of looks cool. Hello there. Well, I can't speak to you right now, it seems. Maybe later. Uh, don't mind me stealing, by the way. It's it's all friendly and, and butterflies. That's a saying, right? <laughs> At least I hope so. Another kitty cat, all right. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello there, kiddo. Upper High Street. I'll take that money, thank you. Can I open you up? Oh, I can just have you, like, cut the, the stuff clean. Oh, how nice. Good job there, buddy. Oh, oh.
Can I, I can sneak in from the back. No, I can't. Okay, fine. Is is it is it here? It's here. Okay, Welcome nice. To J. Pippen's potions. Uh, thank you, thank you. I am here for a particular need. Do you see? Revelia. Uh, the Pippin Potion established in 1753 is the apothecary of horse meat from uh, proprietor, pro pro proprietor Harry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions uh, and the ingredients. Okay, sure. Speak with me, dude. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is Parry Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Sure, let's do it. What can I do for you today? Uh, like these two, you and oh, you. Decision. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Oh or boy, I can do that. Time go all buy this. Today. Can't really buy anything else, you see. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay, so two more areas. Okay. So let's see, uh, I need to go to this one, and I think this one too, I'm not quite sure if that's the one though. No, let's go here actually, let's go here first. I am here on urgent business, I tell you. It is of the utmost importance. Well, hello there. Hello there, I'm oh, here to talk hey, to you. Please come in. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I am choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Okay, so his... You're after something fresh. So his voice acting there was weird because you could hear he was in a room. Uh, just just a little, just a little thing. I, I I can I can be a bit of an audio. Um, what do you, what do you call? It? I'm trying to be nice without or I say, it. I can be a bit of an audio person sometimes. You so I notice those things. Examining. Although I have trouble getting my own audio to sound great, just because I don't like my own voice. <laughs> but oh well. Uh, am I ever gonna use the black and brown gloves? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Contemporary. Okay. Um, let's see. Scottish. Okay. Let's see. I mean, I'm never going to wear this jumper, I don't think. 
I know for a fact you have limited inventory space because I saw that that was a big deal. I'm not going to have this anyway. Uh, hats? I'm probably not going to use any hats. You know if I can get extra like protection from it unless I need it, I'm not going to. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest. Better we'll to grow in a, in small pots. Okay, sure, I'll take this. Now you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Uh, these leaves are key ingredient in wagon wall potion. Okay. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Okay. Oh, oh, great. So now I just need one more thing. And let's see if I can remember what that was. So sorry to push you, dude. Should be all the way on the opposite side of this area. Oh boy, so many locked doors. I mean, I, just, I, I, I guess I can expect them to have locked doors, but still, it's something anyway. Where am I? I think I already got lost. It's not like this place is actually that big. Uh, right over here. See, I'm almost there. I just went past. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mind. Uh, indeed. Yes, whatever you said. That is me. What? Okay, sure. Pavilion. Something up top? Oh, there's a page. There's another one outside. Yes, let me get a couple things and then I'll be right down to talk to you, buddy. Oh. Uh, enchanted staircase. This enchanted staircase in tomes and scrolls reveals itself when a particular book is moved. The proprietor of pro Thomas Brown sells a variety of written products, including spellcrafts, handy for conjuration. I, c I cannot say proprietor for some reason. <laughs> I have trouble with that word. Funky word. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Uh, potion station, spellcraft. Sure, like take it. Just take this too. You're interested. Don't Feel like this scarf. Take a look around at the rest of my. It could be useful. The head too. I don't. I'm, yeah, like I said, I'm probably never going to use a head. So. Okay, let's Let find Netty. I'll find Netty. Of course, I will. Always. I will not hesitate. Alright, Netty, I am uh, coming back to you. I've gotten everything I needed. So, uh, it's all uh, sweet and nice. Wait, there was actually something outside the... Oh, it's fine. I'll get it another time. To get back here anyway with Bombarda, isn't that the one that unlocks locks that explodes the locks or something? All right, here we go. I have everything. 
I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> I like the candy one the most. More. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Uh. Okay, well, is that a troll? That's, that, I think that's a troll. Oh boy. Can I use that? Oh no, not another one. Dodge? So dodging only works when it's red, right? Okay, so I need to keep in mind, uh, mind of that. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh crap, I pressed square instead of oh, oh, X instead of the other one. Expelliarmus. Wait, I don't have Expelliarmus yet. Ancient magic throw? What does that even mean? I don't know. How do you feel about that? Oh boy. Oh, okay. Ow, that must have hurt. I like throwing things at him. <laughs> he go through buildings, but a little wooden barrel actually hurts him. I made Dark Souls, you know, you're nothing. What? You can throw down things? I want to use Stupefy, but I can't use Stupefy. Oh, actually, I think I can. Can you use that? Oh, can I use that again? I want to use Stupefy, please. There we go, I use Stupefy on the damn troll. <laughs> What's with the cat just stand running in place? Ow! I still don't know how to heal, by the way. I really need to figure that out. Oh, you can't see me. Let's finish him. What? Blue? In red, instead of red, I should blue. And evaporate him, apparently. Goodness. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of no, course, I can do that. Officer. No problem. Sinker. Officer Singer, and thank you again. Uh, Reparo. Reparo. Ah, good to you. And of course, the cat in the barrel. I will see what he wants. Okay, I'll keep repairing. Thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Repairo. 
What else do we have to repair? Something over here? I need to get closer, okay. There should be one more thing somewhere. Uh, what am I looking for? Velio. Velio. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Show the way. Oh, it's this. And guess to the Woodcroft. This statue is Hufflepuff Hentis of Woodcroft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from his home by Muggle persecutors. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've no Thank you. I feel connected to my wand. Oh look, I got blue stuff down there now. We were just talking about you. Oh, I was just standing in here too. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I could offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Okay, thank you. Uh, no, I'll take it. If he offers, I'll take. Sure, why not? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your this time. This one? Okay, sure. Traditional school you be disappointed. That's a glad. Uh, I know how to do the gear stuff. Your current defense and offense display at the top right of the screen. Yeah, it's fine. It's like the cloaks and ropes gear slot. Uh, yeah. Geometric house cloak. Can I get a green scarf? Festival garb. Hmm, cool. Celtic attire? And this stuff is pretty cool, actually. Asylum mask? You can just run around like a crazy person. Oh well, I mean, okay. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Let's Shall get a butter beer. Three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I don't know. I like the other one a little bit more. I, sell I mean, more battle worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Like, well, it looks okay. Uh, the other one has more style to it, you know? Uh, so, let's actually manage clothing for now. So, I want one set of clothing that's just normal, outside of Hogsmeade. And I want it to be... Uh, how do you say it? Just okay and, and pretty decent. Wand handles. I mean, I have this. It looks a little bit weird, but... <laughs> I mean, it's a wand handle anyway. Uh, then we have... This clothes. It won't really change anything, will it? It changes the dress. Whether, whether or not you have a dress underneath. Okay. First of all, I want to see... This hold on, actually. I mean, with the hood on, this actually looks better. I plan to use the hood. This is pretty good. Uh, I don't, however, so... I would like to change... This to just off for now. Just unequip. 
Because I need to see what I want her to look like outside of Hogwarts. It's either this one and this one, I think. This one just seems more casual. This one seems a little bit more stiff, I guess you can say. Probably go with this one just because there's a little bit more detail in it. Uh, and... Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll change the look once we're back at Hogwarts again. Uh, then... I have two traditional school rope. Uh, okay. A bit interesting, but sure. So outside, I'm not gonna wear any of this. Uh, although I'd like to make it invisible if I can, because otherwise I'm never gonna, like, get the bonus of anything here. And then make it visible again once I'm at Hogwarts. Can I do that? Like turn... change appearance? We just have nothing? There we go. Then I'll turn it back on again once I'm back at Hogwarts. And then change appearance here. Uh, not change appearance actually. That's fine. No, no, yeah, yeah, then I change appearance again once I'm back at Hogwarts one more time. And here... Uh, how, how, how does normal hands just look? Looks fine, I guess. Nothing too extraordinary. Uh, I can't say I like these clubs that much. Well, like any clubs that much anyway. I guess we'll try to have the clubs be a part of the school uniform then, no? Or not? Yeah, let's try to make it these instead, because I like these ones more. And and with this, I have actually determined which stuff I want to sell and which stuff I don't want to sell. So I can actually go right back in there again. If it would let me run, which it wants, but ask, okay. I'm all out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. What? Okay. I to sell this one, because I already have one. Doing business with you. So I can't sell the stuff I'm already rearing, right? Don't like this one. Don't really like this stylish school uniform. Don't really like this one. This one I'm going to keep, just because it looks unique. This I'm going to sell. Uh, I'm going to sell you. Actually, I need to sell some more stuff. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm very fashionable, you see. Oh, ho, ha, ha. Does it add to it? I mean, sort of. If it's cold, I mean, so, sort of. You know what? You know what? Uh, we can keep it for now. Just have some extra fluffy stuff in the bag, you know. I like capes. It could be like a small cape. <laughs> oh, so stupid, but I will. Uh, let's see what else. What else is there? Oh, yeah, I wanted to sell more stuff to him. Sure to stop by whenever you're about. Prefect vest uniform. I'm gonna sell this one. Uh, I need to remember that is the one I actually want to use. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure yeah, to indeed, stop by indeed. You're about. Oh, I can. There's actually something I didn't get. Uh, Gladrag's mannequin. Unlike the enchanted mannequins favored by students during practice, the mannequins in Gladrag serve only as means to display the latest wizarding fashion. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Oh, nice. Good one to know. Okay, uh, can I save the game? Because I do need to end the video right now. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, cons if you did enjoy cons watching, consider liking and subscribing. Or oh, never mind. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Sirona. You be well. What? Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. I'm, I'm actually confused. <laughs> I'll be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> uh, uh, how timely. Was that Lord Gok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. It is perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Yeah, it seems like a great time. Anyway, I'm a little bit confused about that waiter because uh, it's a male voice actor but a female avatar or character oh well nom 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 buns All right, well, that is also going to be for this video. I'm going to have to end it right here. If you in con hope you in I whatever, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.